So we're uh, on our way to Evan's graduation. It's our second oldest grandson. He's graduating today. So it's a big school. So we're going to uh, the Tacoma Dome. So we figured we'd take her drive down Ruston Way. You remember that, Mike? I used to take you out here fishing. Yeah, we'll go out and show you the dome. When you're a little tight. Yeah, we lived here a long time ago. So uh, we needed to beat the traffic, so we came a little early. So we're just gonna kind of relax in town for a little bit. We'll show you. We'll show you some of the sights. There's the. Uh, you can't see it too good from here. It's the old old train station downtown Tacoma. I remember, I don't know, 40 years ago, dropping my grandpa off there so he can get the train home. This is like uh, downtown Tacoma, the, the old part, not the new part. It's got some really old brick buildings down here. And most of them are still got shops and stuff in them. Over there, that's the port of Tacoma. That's where they do all the business from the boats. There's the dock that Mike used to take the kids fishing back when they were little guys. Yep. Water looks a little choppy today. Yeah, it's a lot different down here than what it used to be. They got places you can come down here, restaurants, you can eat right on the water. And uh, it's got a pretty long trail. It goes quite a ways down along the water if you want to just you know, take a nice walk or jog down by the water. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this used to be one of our old places we used to like. A long time ago, we used to, we used to take boats out too. We were, it seemed like we always had a boat or something. down there somewhere. Oh. It's true behind the black. Oh, okay. I see Evan. Yeah, here's a picture, a video of Puget Sound, Kissap County. This is right up down at the bottom of the hill from our house. You got Brownsville Marina. Got some nice boats down here. We used to have our boat moored down here. The was a 29-footer. You just come down here and do a lot of fishing and squidding at night. Very nice place. Uh, so I'd come down to Brownsville Marina and take the dog for a walk. And Patty. <laughs> Boats are docked up. We got a few boats going out. We're gonna walk down here to the end and check it out. Press it. Gonna throw the ball. <laughs> Taking his time. There he goes. 
Oh, bam. Say cheese. <laughs> well, we retired the old Weber and I picked up a, a Royal Gourmet griddle. So far, so good. It's working pretty good. What cut you got up, cooking, Mike? Got up some pork chops and we got chicken going over here. Who's the chicken for? Uh, the chicken for your dog. <laughs> <laughs> she don't eat that in one sitting. No. <laughs> <laughs> We just we, we usually boil her chicken and we thought, oh let's just fry her chicken today. And then I I keep it in the refrigerator and I give her little snacks of it. But no, I don't think that's gonna work because I don't want her eating all that I don't want her eating that grease, so Yeah, well, it was a thought. We might have to eat that ourselves. Yeah, it's really pretty nice. It cleans up cleans up really well. So you like it so far? Yeah. Get done cooking. Take it in the house and come back out and clean it up. Only takes a few minutes. Yeah. Pour some water on it. So uh, you chose this one over the Blackstone. Well, this one here has better review. Has has well, good reviews, just like the Blackstone. But in the charts, this here is sitting in second. I think the Blackstone was fourth or fifth. But the other one that was in first was another Royal Gourmet, and it was the bigger one. So, anyway, this one here, you don't have to uh, break in the grill. It's a porcelain grill. It's ready to go right out of the box. You just didn't want to season the Blackstone? <laughs> <laughs> no. This one here is the same price as the Blackstone. Yeah. I also, what I did on this, on this Royal Gourmet, is it has a grease catcher here. Yeah. What I did was I, if you look here, yeah. I put aluminum foil in it. So once it gets about half full, I'll pull it out, fold up aluminum foil, throw it away. You need to clean up. That way you don't have to clean it, huh? Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, we'll keep using this and we'll let you guys know how it how it works out. And he hooked it into the to the big propane. Well, it comes with this to hook into the big propane. Oh, it comes with it. Okay. Yeah. The other one, I think we had to do an attachment to get it in. Yeah, so. it had the, the other one had the small. Yeah. Okay, well, I got to go cook the rest of the dinner. Okay.